Good evening from the Estadio Algarve, where Gibraltar will be taking on Lithuania tomorrow night in that crucial UEFA Nations League playoff match. Of course, if we win, we stay in League C. If we lose, we'll drop back down to League D. Original opponents for this match were supposed to be Cyprus, but the Nations League had a reshuffle since Russia was kicked out of the competition, which meant Cyprus and Belarus proceeded and stayed in League C, whilst we'll have to fight for our chance to stay in this division, prove ourselves against, against Lithuania. That first match, of course, tomorrow night here at Faro, and then the away game will be played on Tuesday. It's a long trip for the players. Julio's only had them since Sunday, which is a big difference from Lithuania, who's had their selection for a couple months now. They've had the off-season, so they've had a lot more time to gel and train as a team whilst like I said Julio's only had the team on Sunday so let's see how he responded to that in the press conference and how he's looking ahead to this important match. La decisión de, de, que, de, de no poder tener los jugadores para entrenar no es nuestra, no opinamos sobre, sobre ella porque respetamos todas las cosas que se puedan hacer. Ahora el otro concepto, nosotros somos felices eh, todo junto y entrenando, lo hemos hecho durante seis años, hemos logrado todas las cosas, es una realidad. Y por sobre todas las cosas, al que le tenés que preguntar si es bueno o no estar junto, es por ejemplo a, a los jugadores, nadie mejor que los jugadores, acá tenés de bar y le podés, y le podés preguntar. Ahora, sobre el otro tema de, de decisiones, en este momento nosotros no, no, absolutamente, ni la federación, ni los jugadores, ni nosotros hemos... Este, Hemos opinado. Es una situación y punto. For you as a player, how, is impo how important is it to be with the squad as soon as possible? Yeah, obviously for us it's very important because the sooner that you get with the boys, um, the quicker you build the connections. And obviously, normally, um, we fairly always have the same group, but obviously this uh, international window is very different. We've had um, a lot of new call-ups, which is obviously great to see a lot of younger boys come in. So obviously the quicker you build relationships with these boys, the quicker they get to um, know how the national team works, um, the better it is for everyone. Um, if I could be with the national team earlier, that would obviously be ideal, but then again, I just focus on what we have to do. I'm a player, um, I focus on the game, and I'm looking forward to it. And a long stretch of days between both games. You arrive to Lithuania on Friday, match not till Tuesday, longer than usual. How does, impact, how does that impact the players? Yeah, I don't think it should. It shouldn't really impact us at all, really. Um, we normally play three days after uh, the first game, but obviously we play on the 21st and the 26th. Um, but yeah, it's just good for me. Honestly, I just think it's better in the sense where I get to be with the boys even longer, um, preparing for a game that's very important to us. And of course, our first time playing Lithuania. How much do we know about them and perhaps where we could cause them damage? Um, Lithuania, obviously, are a very good side, um, like they all are. Um, but obviously watching them, we obviously know what, what damages that we want to cause. Um, our tactical approach to the game, obviously presented by Julio and the tech team, is something that we, we've been working on and obviously we'll keep to ourselves, but they're a good side and it would be a good game.